in this tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about um, mass properties and how we can use uh, Rhino as a tool to gather information that will be helpful in the mold making and casting process. Uh, one of the um, nice things uh, about Rhino is that you can get information, valuable information, about your objects uh, from the uh, program as it relates to um, as it relates to the uh, the the mass properties of your object. So let's click on this object right here to make it uh, active. We're going to do analyze. We're going to go into our mass properties, and we're going to get our volume our volume okay and right now the the volume there are three solids and it has a, a volume of 10.5 uh, cubic inches cubic inches and that's a very valuable information to know because what we know right off the top is that if we're going to pour this solid with liquid one of the things that we can do is that we can bring up uh, cubic inches to fluid ounces and we type in 10.5 and we know that we're going to need about uh, six fluid ounces to pour that object so that's how much casting material you would need now let's say we were going to build a mold uh, for this object. Let's say we were going to uh, build a mold for uh, this object and we wanted to find out approximately how much uh, mold material we would need. The way that we could figure that out uh, using mass properties is that we could go here to our object and I'm going to center these, right? And generally you want to have about half an inch to an inch around your object when you're doing like a, a block mold as we are uh, anticipating doing in this case and I'm going to change my mode to wireframe uh, I'm going to change these all to wireframe so that it works a little bit quicker and what I'm going to do I'm going to get my cylinder tool right here and I'm going to create a cylinder that gives me approximately a half inch to three quarters of an inch around my object like so okay and I'm gonna make sure that it goes above my object at least a half inch like so okay and now that I've done that um, now that I've done that what I can do is that I can click on the cylinder and I can do a volumetric mouse pro mass properties on that and that tells me that I would need 56.3 cubic inches uh, of material for that mold but that is solid okay and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna deduct the 10.5 from that and and that gives me approximately 45.7 or 46 cubic inches and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in 46 cubic inches there and I'll need about 25 ounces of mold making material in this case silicone to create that mold and if I got a trial kit which comes with uh, approximately 32 ounces of material I'd have just enough to pour that um, to pour that solid and so that's why um, having those uh, mass properties are uh, very um, important now uh, note that and it's often helpful when you're trying to calculate how much material is something's going to use you notice that at 
at your basic uh, volume, that's approximately 10.5. Now let's say we were to make this 6 inches. We're going to see how that's going to affect our, our mass properties here. So it's 6 inches. Before we were at 10. Um, and if we were to go and we were to do a volume right here. Now, just by making it uh, two, 2 more inches, uh, we've gone to 37 cubic inches of material. 37 cubic inches of uh, material, uh, which would uh, then, if we were to come in, come in and look at How much fluid it would take? It would be almost 20 ounces. So we've almost uh, we've almost uh, quadrupled the amount of liquid that we would need in order to pour that. So uh, these being able to gather that information is very helpful as you're uh, beginning to plan uh, your your mold making and casting process and there's a lot of uh, other valuable information that you can glean um, from your objects in Rhino using things like uh, mass properties like uh, one of the things uh, you can do is you can get the area of your um, of your model um, uh, so in this case it's 37.13 square inches uh, for your object. Area becomes very important when you're doing um, bronze casting and the like. Uh, if you're going to go out and send something to a foundry, they'll want the, uh, the square feet or square inches of an object. It also becomes important when you're doing milling operations and things like that to, to, to get to know things like that. Another thing that your mass properties can be used for as it relates to your object is that once you uh, have your object here you can come in here um, and you can type in bounding box and you can use that to create the bounding box for your object and then over here in dimensions you can grab the linear dimensions of your object like so using your bounding box so that's very valuable if you want to know the dimensions of your model, like so. And you can pull that out like that. So when we look at the model, it's approximately uh, 2.7 by 3.65 by 4 inches and you can get the dimensions if you want to pull the dimensions uh, from your model. So there's a lot of valuable information that you can glean from within um, Rhino. Uh, and This is one of the reasons why we always use Rhino as the end of our uh, production pipe in digital fabrication uh, when we can. Hope this is helpful.